Hello everyone, this is Watson. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use a fiber optic cable coupler to extend the cable length. Well, first of all, we know that whenever our PoE or Ethernet transmission reaches its limit, we will choose to use a fiber optic link to go further or go faster and get our transmissions to a high speed long distance transmission. So when we change from Ethernet cable to fiber optic cable, there's many different things. Well, first of all, you can see that this is an Ethernet cable. This is a short patch cord and this is a short patch fiber optic cable. The fiber optic cable is much more thinner and the head, the connectors, they look much more differently. Ethernet cables, it has been applied very much and there are home, home based uh, RJ45 crystal head appliers, which you can do it yourself at home as long as you follow the instructions. So it's really easy for us to like create a short patch cord like this. But for fiber optic cables, it requires more precise devices. That's why usually the devices, the instruments that we use to uh, terminate the fiber optic cables are either expensive and not commonly seen. Only like in big corporations or like telecom companies, they have these carried around. We, there are a lot of ways, so usually for us users, most of us, when we only apply like a few times of fiber optic links, we will choose to use factory terminated fiber optic cables. This means the connectors right here are already on here when we purchase it. Terminated fiber optic cables are usually, we order it like 100 meters or 300 or 500 meters, and in some cases, we will have this incident, uh, well, not this problem, which we are a little bit short. Maybe like after this 100 meter roll, after this 100 meter roll, we're gonna be like a meter short. Then we can just apply one of these 100, uh, one, meter, uh, one meter fiber optic cables to the 100 meter patch. So we don't need to like go to the factory and order a 101 meter fiber optic cable for us. So we can't simply just like connect these two because fiber optic link, it works as shooting lasers. If we want these two to connect to each other, it has to be very precise in, in case the fiber optic signals will leak out and we will have suffer from signal loss. Now that is when our new accessory, this little device here will come in handy. This is called a fiber optic cable coupler. When we open it right here, disassemble it, you can see in the middle, it is like two ports for us to insert our fiber optic cable. So when we connect these two in this, on the same side, the fiber optic signal, the optical signal will shoot through here and transmit out of here. So basically this is like a connector joint for these, for two, uh, two sections of fiber optic cable. So in order for us to extend our cable length, what we need to do is at the end of our original cable, we apply one our fiber optic cable in the slots right here. And on the other side of this connect uh, of this coupler, we need to attach the fiber optic cable on the corresponding slot. You can't do it on the different one where the signal cannot go through. So it's pretty easy and I'm going to show you guys how to do, make it work. So when we have one end of this, let's assume we're gonna use channel A for the fiber optic link. And we're gonna take our coupler and insert our fiber optic cable, our original 100 meter fiber optic cable to one end. And the corresponding end is the, right, the one on this side. So we take out the pl protective plug for this one and you can see that channel A will go through this one on the bottom. So our short patch fiber optic cable will have to insert to this end as well. And this will make it a thorough connection and this will make our connection successful. Now I'm gonna power through and let you guys see it is working. So now let's take our, our devices to make our fiber optic link. We're gonna use two two fiber media converters, power, plug-in, power, plug-in, 
since we are going to test if the fiber optic cable is thorough or not, if the coupler is working, we don't need to connect to other IP devices. All we need is the fiber media converters and our SFP modules. So on one end of our 100 meter Ethernet cable, we're going to choose the same fiber optic cable, the same tunnel. We're going to choose channel A and insert it to our SFP module. And this will go to one side of our one of our fiber media converters. Now then, we're going to use the short patch cord right here. This end will go to another fiber SFP module. This will go to the media converter. And now you can see the indicators are on, meaning that this connection is thorough, the coupler is working, and now we have another meter extended. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Our next video, we're gonna talk about some tips we're gonna have to pay attention to when we're setting up an extending cord for our fiber optic link. If you guys have the interest, please follow us, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.